Welcome to this session of OpenMentor.net. We are going to see how to set styles. We need to know the styles so that we can beautify our pages. There are two ways that you can give the styles. Previously we have seen how to give the font size everything within the text itself as an inline style. But now what we are looking at is at the header of the HTML page, you can have style slash style. So you can include the styles at the top. Look here, I start with dot my font. You have to use with a dot and then the, you give any name so that this name can be referred inside the styles. I am saying color colon red, font size 50 pixels, font family area. Then I have given something called a dot my border within curly braces the border 5 pixels for the width it should be solid or dotted then green I'm saying the width of that border should be 200 pixels now when I use this rather than table TRTH now we are going to use div and span you can draw the tables using div and span nowadays the table is not very highly used but div and span are used so you can use div slash div within the div you can have multiple spans so I have got span slash span in this case so we are using div and span a div is a block of data or text then a span is the one within that division okay so you can think of div as a row and span as a column to mimic the tables so I have got one division with hello one and hello two now let me remove this particular class and then see to use the style you need to say class equal to that my font so if you have defined something called dot my font you can say class equal to my font the moment you use this the whole detail that you have given or in that my font this color equal to red this whole thing will get applied here so this is equal to typing style equal to the whole stuff instead if you define all of them at the top you can reuse at any point of time so it reduces the information the text within the division styles now first one I have used class my font second one I have used my border for the whole division let us see how it looks like now look here this is the first division and span I have used a font size red uh, this 40 pixels and then font color as red I have not used borders the second one I have used borders for the whole div not for the span so if I want to have sp this border here also for the span all I need to do is just simple thing look here I have made the class equal to my border for this div for this span again for this pawn also I have made this class as my border now look at the way it appears the border appears for this cell this span as well as this span since I have not used the my font for this particular div the font is smaller than the previous one now if I go back instead of the solid border let me try this one dotted okay let us see how it appears now if you see the border appears dotted so you can use solid or dotted borders and you can determine the width of the borders also suppose I say two pixels border then the width of the border it gets reduced so you can use dotted or solid borders either with one pixel or two pixel or ten pixels depending upon the way you want to format it now if I want to have a different style for this for this span alone let us let me give this my border only to one span of this particular div let me give just here let us see how it appears see it puts that style only for this particular span so it is up to you either to use the styles at the div level or at the span level you can have any number of styles defined at the top of that before head slash head that particular block in your HTML page use those styles by using 
class equal to that particular class name. In your class definition, make sure you give a dot over here, put everything in curly braces. You can use div and span. Nowadays, most probably we are using div and span uh, rather than tables trth, which is easy to manipulate now. Now, let me look at if I have hundreds of such styles. If I copy paste this whole style into my HTML page, it will be a repetitive work and each page size will go up. Instead, I can put all the styles in a .css file. CSS stands for Cascaded Style Sheets. So you can put that in a CSS file and then refer that CSS file in your HTML page. Let us see how to refer a CSS file in a HTML page. What I have done now is I have created a new file called mystyle.css whatever I have used within the style slash style tags I have put all that information inside this particular .css file. Now inside my main HTML page I have used this tag before the slash head tag link rel equal to style sheet type equal to text slash CSS href equal to mystyle.css. So I have copied all the stuff into mystyle.css. I have included this. In this way, you can put all your styles in one file. That CSS file can be shared across multiple HTML files. So the style is not in this file, but still I am able to use class my border, etc, etc. Now, let me look at this page. The page looks exactly the same. The effect is exactly the same. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to change instead of the red color, I'm going to make it as blue color in the CSS file. I have not changed the HTML file. I have changed only the CSS file. HTML file remains the same. Now I go back. I refresh the screen. The moment you refresh the screen, look at this. The color has changed. I have not changed the HTML file. All I did is I changed the CSS file. The moment you change the CSS file, based on the style information that you have given over here, that is referred by the statement and that class is referred in the div. So that particular style is applied to the whole div. So this is the simplest way of using a div span and along with style sheet and the classes. So class is also an attribute for the div and span. So in this way you can manipulate the tables or styles or borders or uh, uh, almost any anything to make the UI beautiful. So the style sheet itself has got a numerous uh, kind of syntax jargons. So you need to go through all those things. But right now if you look here, I have used something called a font dash size, font dash family, then dotted, uh, border colon. So you need to know some of these keywords that needs to be used uh, inside the style sheets. If you make some mistakes, it will not work properly. It Basically, the style will not appear. It may not give you an error, but it, the style may not appear. For example, uh, I use uh, something like blue E, right? Let me go back and then type. It didn't appear in blue. It didn't give me an error. It did not appear in blue. But once you look at your page, you can always come back. Okay, there is something wrong. Now I correct back that issue to remove that extra Y. Now I go back, look here, it appears in blue. So the style sheet will not give you a hard error on your page, but it will not get applied. So the way you need to test the style sheet is also by look and feel of your particular page. So in this session, we have seen how to apply styles and then how to use those styles in classes and then how to refer that particular .css file and we have seen div and span. Thank you.